Come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Angle lang. Yes. You know, I, I, I've been so excited to come to this Really? Show. Yeah, it's like, you know, remember when you were uh, humbang a scholar? Yeah. 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 And then you don't see it. And you're like, <laughs> One oh, more okay, lala. Three, one one more three. vuga. <laughs> yeah, I'll fast more. Okay. In fact, as you're hanging in the dining room. You're 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 in the dining room. No, 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 the comedian. Yeah, so, man. radio is the theater of the mind, and I just want to give you an idea of what Kakiso is doing. Mangi is standing right now. And I know you don't like it. I do not like people standing in the studio. Well, you know, me and I'm in so it doesn't really make a difference, right? No, I, I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it at all. <laughs> so, we are the same level. Exactly. We are <laughs> the same level. Guys, on social media, you can actually watch the whole interview um, at Radio 2000 underscore ZA. Um, that's on Facebook. Yeah. You can also even go and find our YouTube channel, um, also at Radio 2000 underscore ZA. Um, and yeah. you can watch and be part of the interview. I'm also live. Yeah, I'm, I'm live. You're yes. also live on I'm your... I'm live on my Instagram. Yeah, at Kakiso Mudupi. Guys, it's... Six, <laughs> it's 16 minutes past 7 o'clock, right? Um, we start the interview the same way every day. What's your normal morning routine if you're not doing radio in the morning? Ah, oh, man, I'm up. Um, I, I wake up, I do scaftini, wake up the kids, Aww. you know, um, yeah, prepare them for school and stuff. And yeah. then... And after that, I go for a walk. Okay. And then go to set. Um, I, I noticed that you and Lonabo are from the same hood. Of course. From Kwatem. Yeah, yeah. And Sabo. Yo, yo. Oh, and Sabo. Yeah. Last time, man. Hey, representing. Well, well, Lots of talent there. <laughs> yeah, what? What do, what do you want to say? I do you, no, no, I wanted to, do you guys know each other from the hood or no? No. No, but I mean, you know, when we when we met about a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. We know, like, oh, guys, yeah, guys. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and, and speak to me about your growing up. Um, Kwatem, uh, what, what, what is your upbringing like? Both parents, lovely. Single, single parents. Lovely, man. I'm not gonna say I grew up uh, hard, tough, in in. You know. But we saw often, Chan. No, no, no. I, I, I mean, I grew up in a home where there was no money, but we had so much fun. Yeah. Man. We had so much fun. We Nandi, E15, Kavichi. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was it was really dope. I never felt in any way that Bengal uh, grand and I had loving parents. Yeah, yeah. It, it, then the transition because your first job, obviously, you worked we worked at a Kellogg's factory. No, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, opposite my mom's house. Really? Oh, really? Oh, in no, the no, mornings so when we wake up, no, 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 no. we she's smell Kellogg's. Aha, uh-huh. she's from the birds. <laughs> so, wow. so, so explain, right? No, I didn't work at Kellogg's. I didn't work at. Ke- I was supposed to go and work at Kellogg's. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, because when I finished my trick, my dad was like, "Hey, I'll nag you," you know, <laughs> to take me to varsity. He said he didn't have, or he said you didn't. No, have. he didn't have. Oh, he didn't have money to take me to varsity. Yeah. And, but he had organized me a job to go and work at Kellogg's. Okay. And I was like. Uh, and you know my dad had this thing right he was like he never bought conflicts he was like no they waste milk oh <laughs> so i'm like i must now go and waste milk. conflicts we don't even have this we thing. don't even have this thing that's when i took myself to school then. what what was what were you going to do at Kellogg's? what was going to be your actual job packing boxes you're going to be a packer then. i was going to be a packer wow. then. And then, how did you take yourself to squares and you paid for yourself? I went, I went, to, obviously, you know, when my friends buy a via, they're going sure, and they're sure. applying. So I went to Rao, which was like now now UJ. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've always been an entrepreneur, you know. So I sold anything that anything that you what? can think of, you know. I okay. have so many nicknames from tertiary. Yo, getter, go getter, steam <laughs> wooly. <laughs> I'm a plate, it takes really? Both. Yeah, that's what I did. What? And, and literally, I, I would pay him my coins. Yeah, I'm a coin. And the, um, there were kids there with like my credit card and stuff, what? but they knew me. They would literally open a separate window for me, because so, you've got so many coins. Yeah. No ten rand. And yeah, small teddy coin. Eh? Yeah, only one bit. Yeah, but like little kids, little kids. And the kids finds the hottest girl to land on. Ah oh, man, but it was fun. It, 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 it's such an inspiring story because I, I mean I know a lot of people that pay for themselves, and it, and you may, you we lock them, but it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It, 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 it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. But it's 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 humbling, and yeah. I wouldn't change it for for anything else. I'd rather go back and do it the same way because then it teaches you about life. It teaches you about you know um, how much you can push yourselves. And and I've got two degrees that I'm not even using. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But you 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 didn't get, uh, take a student loan. No, that Nefsa's thing didn't. I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. No, well done. Well done. No, in your say Kalinga and What? Yeah, because I was doing gigs and stuff. You know, Shama party, sure, sure. Shari. Then so I, we we are. We've got uh, Kakiso Modupe. Uh, we're gonna find out from him studying. Yeah. How does he then end up obviously on scandal? Because for me, that's the first time I was like, yo, this guy. Yeah. And also you were there for what, 14 years? 13. 13 years. Oh. It's such a long time. And I had to leave. When we come back, I really want to find out about leaving because it can't have been easy to 
to make this it's okay guys yeah i'm done with this thing yeah, i'm I leaving okay. three cutting edge plans one incredible after sales experience introducing my bmw plans a range of exceptional solutions tailor-made to take care of your out of motor plan bmw now for one upfront payment you can protect yourself against rising costs while enjoying price lock services superior bmw workmanship and original parts to learn more about my BMW oil plan, service plan, and maintenance plan, visit bmw.co.za forward slash my BMW plans. Get the plan that gets you. Get ready to bring home a whole lot more with XXL savings at Checkers. This week only, get the new Butcher's Cut Thor's Hammer Beef Shin for $89.99 per kilo. Buy any three forage and feast products and save 20%. And get the Platinum Cordless Glass Kettle for just $249.99. Save 100 rand. Find even more XXL savings in store. Valid until Sunday at Checkers and Checkers Hyper. Hashtag 2 million gang gang. Listen, if you want to tweet at Radio 2000 underscore Nala Takata, underscore. We also try and squeeze in as many of your voice notes as we can, uh, which you can send on 060584-2250. Um, so you're playing Mangi. You're on Scandal. Yeah. Um, you're super famous. Mm-hmm. And I know most people, when they get into those sort of roles or like a soapy vibe, they yeah. never leave. Yeah, as yeah. in, their career either ends yeah. and they know that it might end. They, how hard was it for you to leave and why did you decide guys this I, I want to yeah i'll tell you one thing fame is is very addictive yeah and and you got to find a way you know to to control it and it can paralyze you from from growing mm. do you know what i mean so for me i got to a stage where i was watching people you know leave the show and they were upset and I was like, I don't want to be that guy, you know. Um, I need to find a way to sustain myself in this industry and also to grow. And I had told him I'm leaving, you know, this at the end of this contract. And they asked me to stay on. And I stayed for another year. And then Brasilo left. And then they asked me to stay on for another year. But then when Brasendi passed on, I was like, no, man, it's time. I need to go. You know, and that's when I, 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 I decided to go and shoot Losing Lerato. You know? Yeah, and we're still gonna get there because obviously that was self. There was self. Yeah, funded. that was self-funded. Yeah, financially, because I know that obviously the transition seems easy when we're listening. No. Financially, yeah. How do you deal with it? How how do you how do you plan? Because you go from a salary yeah. to as in from next month, nothing, nothing. Yeah, the first month, what do you do? You shouldn't be afraid to fall, mm. and I think that's that's the biggest thing um, about a lot of people in the industry, is they always want to stay on top. But you got to go down so that you can go up again. Sure. And I knew I needed to do that. And I had discussed it with my wife. The fairy tale. Yeah. I was like, mom, just fast any band. Yeah, I know. Some fast band. But I had planned for it. You yeah. Know? So, yeah. Sure. so I knew exactly what was needed. And, 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 and I needed to grow. I just but you took to be big risks. Like you're a big risk taker. Yeah. I mean, I, you I'm put your risk-taker. house down. Always. On losing Lerato. School fees, everything, Shucks. you know, um, and, and shot it. The reason why I did that is because I was I was looking, you know, for e funding and I thought that would be easy. But yeah. It wasn't. Mm. And when I got to New York, I got the funding. Mm. But then they said they don't want, you know, um, South African actors on it. So they were they wanted to buy your concept? Yeah, they wanted to buy it. But you can't... For me, it was a lot of money. I remember I was sitting, you know... Uh, Manhattan and I was thinking oh Yazin and you then, said no I said no because I had promised my daughter that's integrity yeah you know I was like look my man it, it's really similar is worth more man mm-hmm. you know and I remember we had a long conversation with the wife and I came back and I was like okay that's when the decision happened so just going back to what Unala was saying about your risk taking yeah what in your childhood and growing up at Kasi do you owe your success to today, if I'm making sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's conversations with my dad. Mm-hmm. You know, that's 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 what it is. Nothing more. I used to walk up nice, yes, center every Saturday. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> and mm-hmm. cut my hair. And the conversations that would happen there, yeah, they were so powerful. You know, um, one of the things I'd learned was Ugnatistratin. You know when we played soccer, let's yeah. try table, you know, start this against the street mm. and then when you win, yeah. and my dad will be like, You take your share and you take it back home. Okay. You know, because as a man you go and you hustle, you hustle. We for a car. 
So I, it doesn't matter what my chiefs were I would always do that and I'd get then shared with my brother, my sister, and my mother. Maybe it's one chip or in, and and that's that's the influence that I have I've had. You know, coming to Joburg after Kellogg's, my dad told me he's like, "It Josie, let Johannes back as fun." Yo. And you gotta decide whether you wanna live in Josie or you wanna live in Johannesburg. Yo. And that's what I did. Yo. We've got Kahi Somutupe <laughs> in the building. Um, he's got a book uh, called oh, uh, Along Came Sakani. There are some, vi- you tackled some difficult conversations there, which I want to have with you when you come back. Oh. <laughs> that book. This uh, one goes to the boys. Yes. <laughs> So is it now at the time or at top of the world? Yo, <laughs> it's only that guy with you all more humble or you could be there. But you know, go for rata, Yo, I really will have man. He's such a humble guy when I was seeking it. Only rata with seeking it. Yo, the re unyaka 
that girl mapula yo name pula party ga le mapula o itse ke party a we enjoyed you we enjoyed you and then the reality show to bang motsona no i enjoyed you thanks man o gole gole mo industry o gole o itse king amen 2 million gang gang Hey, Mike here. Ah, you've got a legend there. Mangi, Mangi. <laughs> wow, what a legend. That man could cry convincingly. <laughs> Yo, man, <could laughs> cry. Yes, legend. Keep it up. Thank you. And we'll be going through a couple of your tweets as well at Radio 2000 underscore ZA. It is 7.30. It is news time with Evelyn Dongwan. SABC News, independent and impartial. Thanks, Bongani. Good morning. In the headlines, the energy analyst Hamid Wingler says ESCOM should explain the high levels of unscheduled maintenance. And meanwhile, the National Union of Mine Workers, NUM, is adamant that the Public Enterprises Minister Pravin Gordon should immediately retract the announcement he made yesterday that ESCOM and labor unions had reached a wage agreement. And finally, Grammy Award winning singer R. Kelly could face decades in prison when he is sentenced to. More news at 8. Get it first on your mobile, on the web, and on your dial. This is Radio 2000 Sport. Good morning. In your sports, so Cricket South Africa is expecting to confirm its new director of cricket by the end of this week. The new appointment will then be part of a setup ahead of the Proteus Tour to England and Ireland. So according to Sport24, um, the national, former national assistant coach Ino Hongkwe and current Warriors coach Robin Peterson were both shortlisted for the position and had emerged as the favourites. Another name that came up was Ashwell Prince, uh, who's also considered to be in the run and has confirmed that he did not apply for the post. Staying with national matters, Bafana Bafana have assembled for camp in Johannesburg on Monday ahead of the 2022 Kosafa Cup that will take place in Durban. The SA team taking part will officially be Bafana but comprised of SA under 23 players. The Kosafa Cup takes place from the 5th of July to the 17th at the Kings Tini, Princess Magogo and the Moses Mabira Stadiums. So the South African team will be coached by Bafana Bafana assistant coach Helman Kalele and it is still not clear why David Nodwane, who coached the under-23s at the Olympic Games in Tokyo last year, did not get the nod. The 32-player preliminary squad will be cut down before the team departs for Durban on the July 10th. Speaking of uh, Um Kalele, I think he's another person to have on a Wednesday. The Midnight Express. Definitely agree with you on that. Hashtag just saying. Serena Williams' hopes of victorious return to Wimbledon after a year out ended with a loss to Harmony Tan. The American great, who's now 40, returned to the same center court where she had limped out injured last year with a passionate display in a 7-5-1-6-7-6 defeat. Staying with the women's game, Iga Schweitek extended her winning streak to a record 36th match with a straight sets victory over qualifier Jana Fett in the Wimbledon first round. The world number one who overtook Venus Williams's record for the longest streak by a women's player in the 21st century beat the Croat 6-love, 6-3. Here's Svitek. Not really, because still when I see Serena or see Venus, they seem like, I don't know, the, the legends. And I don't consider myself a legend. They seem like the... The ones that you know they're the greatest of of all time in tennis um so so not really but it's amazing for me to have that kind of streak and it just shows how much work we've been putting um for every match and i'm pretty happy that there's nothing sinister nor inflexible about Andre Pollard missing the Springboks' first three tests against Wales at, Loft- Wales, rather, at Loftus Fasfeld on Saturday. And those are the words of national coach Jacques Nienaber, uh, who was speaking yesterday after announcing the matchday squad for the encounter, who even suggested Pollard was simply as unlucky as any other squad member not to be picked. And you know who else is unlucky? Me and you, if you don't have the tickets to Loftus Fasfeld on Saturday, unfortunately. Apparently sold out, ne? Sold out, sold out. But- I am also expecting a lot shedding. A lot shedding. Don't do that. Don't be that guy, please. Please. No, but, please. but wait, does load shedding affect? Uh, it does. What? I mean, you need those floodlights. No, they show they've got a generator, guys. Where? Hey, about Lunglaba. Uh, really? That people, my man. Clearly, you don't know this load shedding. Stage team. one. We must play it for We're you. We're going to stage ten. Back to my machine generator. Ah, but that's a much better. 
<laughs> I see. Uh, okay, so we're going to be going through a couple more um, of your voice notes on 0605842250. And of course, we are also talking about, I don't want to call it a controversial book, but he tackled some very difficult conversations in that book when you come back. The Takeoff, exclusive to Radio 2000. Coming up this Thursday, something to look forward to. Dr. Sean Davison is a euthanasia activist and founder of Dignity SA. He is officially a free man after assisting three people in assisted death. And we are going to find out, does he regret assisting three people to kill themselves? I don't regret my actions. I should point out they weren't terminally ill or chronically ill. They were totally physically incapable of ending their lives. It's coming up this Thursday. You do not want to miss it right here on The Takeoff. Hashtag 2 million gang gang. Hashtag The Takeoff. At Radio 2000 ZA. On all social media platforms. Be part of an award-winning team. By the way, uh, <laughs> so we're two spiritual singers. The song I is called Amen. Featuring um, Manga. The <laughs> Not that is featuring manga. Yeah. Um. Oh man, I love this song. Yeah. And, and I chose this song specifically, you know, for everybody that went through a lot during COVID. Ah. The people that lost their loved ones, lost their jobs, 
Um, and and this is just to say, you know, as I'm a masca suga manje, you know, it's it's a healing for them. Mm. Yeah, mm. A revelation. And yeah. we need it. Yeah. Um so a book a book called Along Came Takan. Where? Right? Um yeah. deals with a lot of issues on that book. We are itan now and what you issue at Look, 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 I do. Here's yeah. the thing. When the book first came out, um mm. I mean on the book alone it deals with um it deals with growth and relationships. It yeah. also um touches, I guess, on communication, you know? Yeah. Um, which I think is the biggest issue. You've been married and also you are someone that's very open about being married and your kids, yeah. which a lot of people in your in, in your shoes usually yeah. don't. Sixteen years. Um what do you think is the biggest relationship um uh, biggest problem in relationships around communication? And you know, looking at the book, one of the things was normally when we start relationships as as men is that we are open to listening to where does your girlfriend come from? Yeah. Or ex baki what made her in eating and shine, what made her mad. Yeah. But another thing that never happens mostly is that our mama never ask where you come from. Mm. Do you know, when all ex back one they never want to hear about that. I see. So you find yourself as a guy naturally going out of your way, having to try and be the better guy. And you find what you spend four or five years in that relationship, you being the giver and she being the receiver. And when we get into marriage, by the time you want to come out and say, no, but <laughs> so, so the book was also to show how communication is key mm. at the beginning of the relationship and even during the relationship and when a new thing happens in your life, like having a child, you guys need to sit and talk about these things or else then they affect you guys. And, and you find, which, you know, uh, the relationship is one side. And the other one is so comfortable in not... Because they've never had to do anything. They've never had to do anything. And it could be the guy, it could be the woman. So it's, I like the, how balanced the book is as well. Yeah. Let's talk about Ukbe Yeah. Um, it's a very controversial line. Yeah. Um, and I find women, no, because Ukbe Gezel, I mean, Ukbe what is your understanding of Ukbe Gezel? Because how it's been preached in, in, in culture and how it's been preached in, uh, at weddings, it just comes out so wrong. Mm. Uguti, you must take nonsense, you know? Mm. Ukbe Gezel, it means that having to live with someone and Ukbe Gezel in you teaching them how to treat you and how to work together, how to build together, how to love together, and how to share Lentoni Fundile to your children, you know, and 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 in marriage is survival of the fittest. Sure. And you will you'll experience it because things are going to happen in your marriage. Mm. Uh Borega is going to happen in your marriage. Um uh, monotony is going to happen in your marriage. And you both have to find a way to keep the spark going. And you know some people uh, take this as, as as a joke, but you need to have a GM. Because yeah, this is yeah, a fi- yeah, this is a yeah. business. I just had mine last week. You know oh, no, I was yeah. uh, like a, a general, general meeting, meeting. General yeah. meeting to check if things <laughs> yeah. are still yeah. are we still on track? State of affairs. And literally, you say with you, every six months we need to go away, yeah. and it's just the two of us. And then the rest of the holidays is with the kids. Mm. And 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 marriage is not just the 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 butterflies only. I mean, one thing that we realize we're like, hey, yes, the pillow talk yet has changed. Mm. It's not that it's kind of pillow talk. It's serious. It's serious stuff. But that's what it is. We talk about the kids now instead of talking about what's going to happen. But what's wrong with that? Because we've changed. It's your life. No, this th- these kids come through us, and these kids. Oh, I love our what blessing. you said. You know what they, I mean? They they come through you. Us, yeah. So this is a reflection of us. So why is it wrong that we almost want to separate them? They are part them. of our pillow I talk. Mm. I see. I see. Yo, <laughs> we've got voice notes coming in on zero six zero five eight four double two five zero as well as tweets as well. Take a listen to this one. Two million gang gang. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, 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 boo. Hey, Mac here. Ah, you've got a legend. Eh? Mangi, Mangi. Wow, what a legend. Morning, morning, morning. The marvelous team. Hey, Nalzin, Pongzin, Pongolucha. Ah, Bangalish too. Got a so called is a Eba Fina Bonglitz. Umari, Lendo Talebo Fita, Egg Tamat. I want to know that the people who are 
Ipato kapizu mfazi, iskripti, e watu wangeni sivu mshari ilu mtaibu. Ya tume, ziti nda pezwa ile nsa, ya shalo mtu, lo mta, ya ya ya. Ima anga, watu mta akbamba, nita mawa ki mtu wakawiti, mtu wa persona, nita mta ya ekta, wanti wa zibasi kwa taima, lo mta ya ekta. Akandu, unapa nita ngasete ma nita. Amlindo msula kose itli pekia se ratana, for me start harina lidi so witu. Asporong ya mangali isto. Hashtag it. Good morning to Milan gang gang. Ah uh, guys, I adore Monkey's character in this scandal. Ah uh, Mangi, <laughs> I think you Mangi. and your father. Oh man. Placero, you need also to to combine in one of the moves. You were yeah. just like father and son in the real in the real. It's coming. Thank it's you happening. so much man. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's happening. Speaking of uh, mm. your work, here on Twitter, we have a question from Unontlantla who says, I'd like to know if he's going to make another movie after losing Lerato. And also, I think TV dramas and soaps limit him. Are you looking to doing more of that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm a director now for mm. a soapy. I'm directing House of Z Day. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm a director on House of Z Day. And and I'm I'm going more behind the scenes, and yeah. hence we're talking about me transitioning. Yeah, yes. because I wanted to be in control, and and of my career and where I want to go. Because when you're just an actor, you're going for auditions, and because you have to keep the lights on, mm. you find yourself just jumping into roles mm. that you don't Anything. like. Anything. So hence now I'm able to choose the roles that I want. I did Mobile. That's a role that I chose. You know, losing Lerat is a role that I chose. But I mean, Tando, my film is also doing very well right now it's out of cinema it's in you know tv uh, dstv nice. box uh, box office and we're gonna go to tv so i'm i'm creating more now because i realized that i was created to create but Mange, you must have gotten to a place where you found I'm that f- manga, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have gotten to a place where you found that freedom to let go of fame you know fame like yeah. you said is a drug and you can be so addicted what happened when you decided, Yazin, I, I actually don't care about being famous? I enjoyed, I enjoyed it more. Uh, for me, I've never got into the space because of fame. Mm. I got into it because of the passion. And I know it sounds like a cliche, you know, answer. But that's when I realized my passion even more. Sure. In telling the stories and creating the stories and writing in in having to come up with these projects, you know, and there's more projects that are going to come up. I want things that are more meaningful. Mm. If you look at losing Lerato, whenever we're going to talk about that subject, people must always refer to mm. that. If you watch Tando, when we're talking about teenage suicide and bullying, they'll always refer to yes. that to that particular, you know, uh, film. So those are the things that you're going to keep seeing from me. W- with, 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 uh, with acting with your daughter, yeah. did you ever break down? And, and cry. Yeah. Because it's, it's such a personal because story. That's real. And obviously, it's even more personal because in yeah. That last scene, uh, that separation from the bus, mm. there was a script, it was scripted, and it just never worked. <laughs> because it was so, so intense for mm. the both of us. And we just left it at the crying. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. Because if, if I mean even the concept of a dad fighting to, to yeah. keep the it, it's it's such yeah. a relatable story in South Africa. Yeah. I remember we, we rehearsed the lines outside the bus. Yeah. And then when we got onto the bus and then when I needed to get my lines out, I just I just broke. At Auto Pedigree, you get up to fifty thousand Rand deal assistance with no deposit required to structure your own deal. Choose from a variety of quality used low kilometer Toyotas, VWs, Fords, Kias and more. Use your deal assistance as settlement to pay your initial installments as cash back or a combination of these options. Visit autopedigree.co.za to find an auto pedigree dealer or service center near you today because you deserve a great deal. Decency supply. On air, online, and on your mobile. This is Radio 2000 Traffic.
morning. Heavy pressure around a couple of big uh, crash scenes on Joburg's highways. One on the M1 going north before William Nichols uh, coming through from Ramberg towards four ways. It's heavy. Another vehicle overturning on the uh, M3 North Mollefontaine Road off ramp. So the traffic queuing from Germiston up through Bedford, you Galilee's Edenvale up towards that uh, particular crash. In behind it, the N12 and R24, it's into Galilee's from the Easter Jam to get into that M3 North. And a truck overturning on the R21 South near Atlas Road. So uh, very heavy queue into that scene coming down towards the airport. If you're leaving Peter Maritzburg, it's a stationary truck at Umlas Road and the roadworks causing a backlog extending almost as far as Ashburton Territory and Cape Town, a multi-vehicle pilot, about eight vehicles involved in this collision. M5 North at the N2, uh, traffic using that M5 is backing up towards the Kenilworth and Ottery areas. We've got you covered on 97.9 FM. Feel good music. Guys, I think I think that's the worst thing that you can ever say to a man. Yeah. Come get your wife. Come get your wife. Come get your wife. Your wife is here. Yeah. Good morning, Tim. Hope you guys are good. I uh, just have a quick one for Mr. Kahiso. I think I almost called him Mangi as well as yeah. the colors have. Yeah, it's Mangi. Uh, how do you deal with the whole, you know, you've been caricatured as Mangi? as a character you know because of the the, the role that you played um and people don't necessarily recognize you as Gahiso, <laughs> but they recognize you as mangi you know how do you deal with that how do you separate the you from the character and how do you you know try and explain away the fact that you are actually not mangi <laughs> I, I think it's very humbling man you know because and i've always said when you play a character, you need to, you know, immerse yourself in yeah. it. And when I still get called Mangi, I think I did a very good job. Yes. Um, and I always say, you know, if you're going to play the best Barry, play the best Barry in the world. Mm. Yeah. If you're going to play an abuser, play the best abuser. So that because you're, you're telling a story to people. Mm. And that character has touched so many lives in different ways. And I appreciate it every time. So looking at you when you were coming into the industry yeah. and now as a director. Yeah. And you know how I'm a 2000 was <clears throat> uh, very liberal. Yeah. What differences are you seeing in how you were treated as an incoming actor and yeah. the new incoming crop? They're very excited and they're very Instagram excited, you know. And so one of the things that when I direct, I don't just direct the scene 
and direct uh you know the uh, yeah the shots i also try and and empower them you know and and make sure which i say as you're doing this scene you must remember this is what we're going to play when we say tonight on house of z day mm. and also start schooling them about the industry as well this is how you grow your brand this is how you do this use not instagram no, yeah no. yeah but also use this you being on television every day how you can use it outside to continue making money yeah, but, you know we must school them in terms of the industry and not just the performances only i love that and you a lot of things you do have social responsibility yeah right and, and when i'm looking at what's playing on tv right now yeah the gun violence yeah the i mean where when did we get there and is that now the future no uh but it's also you know a, a reality and people always say we don't want to tell stories about poverty but that's the reality you majority know? of people are poor yeah majority of people are experiencing violence exactly so or majority of the young people are taking their own lives mm. you know so we want to watch the the fairy stuff and but then we get shocked every time somebody mm. jumps off a sentence, you know, and and then we want to tweet about it and and make it a big thing. Mm. I mean, when we, it happens all the time, yeah, we are being shocked when we're seeing young kids who are doing that thing, hubbly, what, 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 what on social media, hubble, bubble. But if we say, you know, use that to educate people, mm. you know, and 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 that's what I like about this show. Like, I, I'll tell you what I like about this. What show. do you like about I love this show? show. I, I love, you know, and and the thing is, please, please, guys, and I'm gonna plea with you. Don't be like, don't pull a bongo muffin on us, you know, and separate. And break up. <laughs> <laughs> Go solo. Go solo. I, I think this show just really works. No. And that's why I'm a huge fan of this show. Thank you, man. Because it's a healing to, to most of us oh. when we're going to work and we're getting to change our mindset as well. I mean, just the topics, just like today, we were talking about Uchwala and mm. sending your kid. Those are the kind of things that you don't you think about it until someone speaks about exactly. it. Yeah, no, you man. Know? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah that's Thank what you, we, we, we are creators. It's rare that someone comes here and tells us something, but we really appreciate Tell it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, did you get it? You recorded the promo. Don't, don't, don't worry about the recording. <laughs> <laughs> management. <laughs> management. Um, management. 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 Look, I mean, you've done a lot of work, right? Yeah. Netflix, Jaiva, Ngobili, The Throne. Is there a role that stands out of, out of all the roles that you've played besides Mangi? Yeah, okay, like, besides uh, Mangi. Yeah, is there a role that really besides stands out for you? Besides Rato. No, look, you can add that. I'm just trying to take away Mangi because I feel like that's where everyone goes. But like you've played other great roles. Yeah. I think, let me walk away from my work, uh, but I think Mobile stands out for me. Yeah. You know, um, because gender-based violence is, is something that's really huge. Mm. And I liked how it was shown. You know, uh, we always see the bruises, but we never get to see the action. And and so it was. It so hits you in your gut. Yeah, and I, I. But it needs to do that. I needed to make sure of that, and and also having to show that not not all men are abusers. And you find a lot of guys who are in prison because of gender-based violence, and they were good guys. Yeah, yeah. So it can happen to a good guy because we're not sitting and we're not talking about our issues you know i've i've had a moment where i i, I would also just lose it mm. and mm. and i realized that this, these are some of the things that you as a man have to internally deal with, deal with yeah. before it really would get out of hand mm. you know and and you feel the rage when uh, yourself yeah. but if you're not dealing with it then it's going to affect you and we need to become role models. But playing Tommy for with your own daughter as your daughter's dad, yeah. I mean, that is amazing. Yeah, now what is her future? What does her future look like in the industry? Tim Tim, two million gang gang. Uh, she probably come already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh Timon has, has been doing a couple of movies. We're gonna do something for her now, uh, nice. where she's playing a blind character. Okay. Um wow. yeah, that's Timolo. But just back when uh, productions, we we've got uh, four productions that are coming up. Uh, and then we've got a series that we also want to shoot at the end of the of the year. Yeah. Um. So next year we'll be dropping a lot of stuff. So that's that's great for us. And Timula is obviously a part of it. She's starting to direct as well. So which is great. And your other daughter's a singer. Ah, uh, Tay Tay. On yeah. Fire. yeah she's she's the star of the of the home. <laughs> you know. Okay, yeah. so the whole the whole point why we brought here was to give you your flowers, man. Yeah. Um, that's really yeah. what uh, Wednesdays are received. all about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, budget. That's why we give yeah. them <laughs> <laughs> But we, we really respect 
what you do, man. Yeah. Where do people, we've literally got a minute, where do people go to check out whatever it is that you're working on? How do people connect? Because sometimes people, you know, in South Africa, we forget. Yeah. Unless you're doing hectic, crazy things in the media, mm-hmm. yeah. we forget what great work you've got. Where do people go? Uh, people can find me on, 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 on Instagram. It's Kajiso Yabakwena. And that's where I am, you know. Uh, and find me behind the scenes. You know, because that's where I'm going and, and creating. I thought you were going to say, because that's where the money is. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, yeah. that too. Definitely. <laughs> ching, ching. He's the last man standing. Ah, literally. 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 <laughs> okay, so thank yeah. you, man. Thank you, guys. Um, and thank you for having honest conversations around me. I, like, I love mm. conversations around marriage and being black fathers and yeah. being present mm. and dealing with real issues. Because I find that this industry expects us to pretend that we're perfect. Yeah. Whereas all of us, yeah, Koisha, we're mm. still trying to find our feet. I love how you approach yeah. a lot of these conversations. But I'm, I'm sure we're going to have you again on the show. No, thank you guys. And um, I appreciate you. you. Ah, thank you again, guys. Luna, but you want to say something? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm I thought good. you were going to Thank you for representing me. I thought you were going to say something. I love you. Listen, it's 8 o'clock. We're going to find out what's going on in the news with Evelyn Tongwani. And then on the other side, we'll give you a chance to showcase your business on the hustle. Out. SABC News, independent and impartial. Thank you, Bongani. The top series uh, energy analyst Winkla Wazen on ESCOM's load shedding and NUM refutes Godan's reports of ESCOM's wage deal. Good morning. I'm Evelyn Dongwani. Energy analyst Hamid Winkla says ESCOM should explain the high levels of unscheduled maintenance. He says rolling blackouts could worsen as the country enjoys stage six amid an